how we cope with infertility is really a unique journey to all of us. And this comes to light, especially when couples are dealing with infertility. On about three rare occasions over the past 15 years since I've been an active lifestyle and fertility expert, I've noticed that honestly, apart from these three proactive men, most of the men were waiting for guidance from their, their female partner to help them through, to remind them to take their supplements, to do certain exercises, to just live a fertile lifestyle in general. These other three men though, have been very, very proactive. They were the ones that were making the smoothies for the woman in the morning, getting their supplements ready, doing the shopping, making sure that they're getting all the right foods and all the right nutrients in their body, making sure that their wife is pampered and, and not stressed and booking her in for certain treatments for massage and acupuncture. And these guys are rare. You know, I've been in the industry nearly 15 years and I've only seen three proactive guys like this. The rest of them often are just a little scared, a little overwhelmed, and sometimes even ashamed of the situation that they're in. And there's nothing to be ashamed about. You know, fertility doesn't define you. It really genuinely doesn't. And that's where we lose a lot of our energy needlessly by feeling that we're letting our partner down or that we're not feminine enough or masculine enough. And what it comes down to is we are both masculine and feminine, all of us. We have those polarities within us. I mean, it's even exemplified in the yin yang symbol, which we see. So we can't be purely one thing or purely the other. We always have slightly another aspect within us. So it's important that, you know, be it your fertility journey, be it your lovemaking journey, it's the same thing where one person is always gonna be more masculine than the other. So it could be the overall framework of your relationship. If, if you have a relationship where you, the woman, are the one that calls all the shots and you know this is what we're doing, this is how we're doing it, including how to manage your fertility journey, then okay, you're the more masculine one. But when it comes to the bedroom, if that's the case, it's, it's often more productive if the man takes that leading role, if he initiates the lovemaking, if he allows you that space to surrender. Now, if you're one of those women that is taking that lead role, but you don't wanna take the lead role outside of the bedroom, and you don't wanna be reminding your man, come on, take your supplements, come on, I've told you, you shouldn't be wearing synthetic underwear, come on, you shouldn't be doing the hot yoga, all those things, get your laptop off your lap, all those things, if you, if you feel like you're nagging or that you're the one that's trying to take control all the time, then you need to honor how that makes you feel and step back in, in alignment and start to empower your man by pulling back and seeing them in the highest light possible instead of rolling your eyes when you watch him grabbing an ice cream and thinking, oh, all that sugar and, and, and that cold chi blocking energy that he's now consuming, instead of you getting in that mode of, oh, it's so annoying and I'm making all these sacrifices and you, your journey is much easier and making that comparison, that only takes your fertility back a few steps. So we wanna be making sure that you're on your fertility journey, you're feeling confident, you're feeling supported and nourished. Now, supported and nourished in the bedroom is one thing, but if you're not feeling supported and nourished in the relationship, you need to say that. You need to find that inner voice. And sometimes that can be really hard, especially if, if your love language is about acts of service, where you want to be showing your love by doing things. So you want to set things up for them. You want to get their supplements ready. You want to get their smoothies ready. But then you also want them to take the same amount of responsibility or support you more if you're fertile lifestyle is more limiting than his, which can often be the case. So I'd like you to have a little bit more patience with your partner. If you're feeling let down by them, then let them know. If you're feeling you need more support, then let them know. If you're wanting them to take more responsibility, then give them more responsibility and stop doing things for them. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and click the bell icon so as that I can be notifying you in your inbox when I am next online. Look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.